Hello and welcome to another Purveyor of Light Photoshop Quick Tip. Uh, today we've got a creative edit of sorts. We're going to show you how to uh, shape light to make your photographs have more drama or more interest. Okay, so I've got this photo here, really nice photo. Uh, almost taken at the blue hour, it looks. And um, it's nice, it's interesting. Uh, but I think if we introduce some more dramatic lighting, I think it would be that much better. So what we're going to try to do is this. Okay, I'm going to show you here. And we'll turn this on. And now you can see, now we're turning on a dramatic uh, lighting effect. Okay, and there's your before and there's your after. Because we're using dynamic lighting, uh, that lets us control exactly the direction of light, where it's coming from what intensity, and uh, it makes us that much more an interesting photo. So let me show you how we do it. Okay, I'm gonna throw this all away. And we're starting out with the basic image. All right, so first step is I wanna turn around and I wanna remove light. And I know that sounds uh, opposite of what you would think, but we actually wanna remove it by you opening a exposure adjustment. So if you come up to your adjustment panel, you can do your exposure adjustment that way, or you can come down and select exposure adjustment here. Okay, so now that we have this open, I wanna drop the exposure down on this photo quite a bit. I'm gonna say maybe about, oh, I wanna go down, see I'm going way down. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say almost four stops, okay? So we're gonna drop this down four stops and uh, that'll help us. Now we're going to uh, reverse what we just did by adding light back in. Now you notice we, by default we have an, uh, a mask already put on the layer for us. And the general rule is white reveals, black conceals. So we have a white mask, which means that adjustment is completely being shown across the entire image. Right. All right, so don't remember that. White reveals, black conceals. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to introduce some black onto this uh, mask where we want the light to actually appear and come from. And we're going to use the gradient tool. So come up to your thing, select the gradient tool. Then I want you to make sure up here you're, you're selected on gradient and not classic gradient, okay? And then I want you to pull down and on the basics tab, I want you to hit the black to white gradient. All right. Then second thing, I want to do a radial grade. I don't want a, a linear one. I want a great radial one. So that when we blow that out, it blows it out into a radius. Okay. All right. So here we go. I know that uh, by default, the sun is coming, hitting her here on the face in this direction. So we want to try to keep that same thing going. So I am going to draw, okay, how I want the light to appear in the same angle. And when I want to drag it, just drag the center, then I want to move it to the, how I want it to fit and in, in the image, how I want it to, to glow into. Uh, I can change the outer ring by just pulling this in and out if I want to thin it out. I can also control the taper or the feather by this adjustment here, okay? So make sure you feather it out really nice and do any fine adjustments, okay? And that's looking pretty good. So here we are. We're controlling the light in there. That's pretty nice. Now, one thing I want to do is I want to also bring more colors into this. Um, it's a beautiful shot. The colors are there. We just need to boost them up. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce a uh, hue saturation layer. Okay. So hue and saturation. And I want to bump up certain channels because I want certain colors to come through on this blue hour shot. So I'm going to take it from master. I'm going to talk to reds. And then I'm going to work with just the saturation. And you can see I can boost up 
all the reds how I want. Okay, and how far I do, that's entirely up to you. I'm going to go about 39 on the red channel. And I can lighten it, okay, or darken it if I want. And I'm going to come up to yellows. And I'm going to increase the saturation there. Not too much on the yellows. And lastly, I want to do the uh, magentas, okay, because I can see magentas here. And then you could just pull it all the way that you can see what areas are being affected. Okay. And we don't want to go too intense. But we do want them to be. All right. So now let's take a look here. And we will see. We're turning on. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. So now I'm going to highlight these two groups by holding the shift key down. And I'm going to put them in a folder or a group. So hit that. And now they're in a group. And now I can see how this is the before or after. So there's the before. And there's the after with the boost and the directional light. So it's a technique that you can turn around and spend a lot more time on and, and do things. But you're going to find a lot more interest in your uh, photos by directing the light, controlling it, shaping it, and coloring it. So that's going to do it for me for this week. Guys, you take care, and I'll talk to you next week.